All right, so a little bit of a blast from the past. I jumped into Art Rage 6 today just because I thought it'd be fun. I uh, haven't messed around with it in a while, so figured why not. So I have the Everlasting Oil Brush selected. I have already chosen some colors here that I was just kind of playing around with. And I thought, eh, might as well do the recording. So I'm trying to stay in this neutral area here and kind of work my way across the canvas for different stuff and just kind of play around with letting this blend a little bit here and there. The green. Get some of the color here. Uh, let's go a little bit greener. Like so. Grab a little of that yellow color that I have up there. Throw in some of this. All right. Now I'm going to go with uh, the roller. Well, no, I'll tell you what, let's go to Palette Knife and just kind of blend the color a little bit. I'm just kind of smearing this around. I want to just have this be some of the background. All I'm doing here is just making big swatches of color and pushing the right bracket key to make that bigger so I can have larger smears. I kind of want this to be a little softer. Just making this modeled background along the lines of that. I think that'll work. I'm going to throw a little bit more darker color in it, so I'm going to come over to here and let's kind of come back down maybe in here. Right bracket key. Make this a little bit bigger, so I'm just kind of quickly throwing paint on here. Let's go a little bit towards the blue. Tell you what, let's even jump over here. But maybe just a smidge of this brownish kind of color. All right, and then back to our palette knife. Kind of lost some of that here a little bit. Uh, let's see. Just kind of want to soften and blur that out a little bit. There we go. If presets. Frosting. There we go. I think that's going to give us kind of the look that I want. I'm just trying to get rid of some of these square edges. Have that really blend off. 
into the background. Really doesn't matter what colors you're using here. Just, you know, some greens and some blues and stuff thrown in here and there. Put in some more green. And a little bit more blue green. Mix some of that in there too. Okay, and let's just kind of smear that around a little bit. There we go. I think that's kind of the look I want. All right. So now let's add a new layer. And in this new layer, I want to add, we'll go with, let's try the pen tool. All right, so I'm going to grab Alt, move this down. Like this. Z and do that. Just was looking kind of weird. Okay. Okay, for the palette knife, bring that size down. And let's just kind of fade that into there. And I'm going to grab and reduce the opacity down in the distance. Like so. And let's go back to our inking brush. Bring the size down. Just throw in some random sticks. Okay. Blend those out in the bottom a little bit. Grab our stencils, because I have all my stencils over here on Gumroad. Um, this will be kind of a quick way to do it. Let's just drag this over here. And. of those are the same. I just had these, a lot of these overlap because I had them set up to where I could export them into uh, my Gumroad files for people to purchase. I'll grab this one, I guess. Get this out of the way. Um, about right here. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and cut right about here. The ink tool. Just add some of this in here. Okay. Just kind of, I'm just going down with this to smear it a little bit. Get out of the way. I'll blur that out a little bit more. Just really, this is just kind of going in here for texture more than anything. Okay, drag this bad boy over here. I. stencil and I think that works okay so let's make a with this stencil let's make another layer and on this layer I'm going to add in some more branches and stuff so let's come over here and kind of get a nice All right, I'm gonna bring this down. Let's just kind of come off here. Remember, these want to be a little bit wider at the bottom. And kind of taper if you get it to where you don't like it, just like, like so. E. 
Sometimes that can be a really good way to get a kind of um, craggly branch. And maybe something up through here. Maybe just a few random spots of where I'm going to have some, maybe some wood showing. Careful, your wood is showing. Opacity or transparency, I mean, go a little bit darker on here. Why not use this color to begin with? Because I just kind of sometimes like to leave little spots of highlights. Uh, so then, let's see. More towards here. Yeah, there we go. Do it this way, and then I can kind of come in and push stuff around and oops. Not like that though. Uh, heavy blurred frosting I'll do just blend color. I'm just kind of running over this real quick to kind of smear it around. Nothing major. Just kind of gives a little bit of interest, breaks it up, back to my inking tool, clear up any stuff that I think needs a little bit of refining. Kind of like the way that's going in and out of there. Okay. Something like that. And just kind of going along blending it. All right, so I got that on its own layer. So let's make another layer. And on this one, I'm going to go to the oil brush. I am going to slide from this background color, go a little more saturated, a little bit darker, and I'm just going to come in here and make some different leaves, keeping this really abstract. But I do kind of want these little almost buds looking things. A 
reddish color in here too, just to kind of change the flavor up a little bit. yellowish, muddy, brownish color, like that, over a little bit, and like I said, I want this to be really abstract. Push K and kind of blend some of this together, blend some of it out. Uh, let's see, I'm going to work the heart out smudge. frosting again. So just kind of want to give it a little bit of a out of focus feel again. Bring that down a little bit. around so I want this to have kind of a really soft feel to the whole thing so I don't really want these super raised brush strokes I don't care if there's some in here but I don't want that to be the main focus Pull it out there a little bit. Back to my oil brush. I'm going to go with. Yeah, this is dried clumps. I think I'm going to go with that. Probably should have started with that one. some of this color in here to kind of hint at flowers. And maybe grab some of that. Throw a little of that in there too just to kind of change it around a little bit. I'm just trying to spread some of this texture and some of the color around. Just kind of soften it out here and there. Like maybe it's kind of 
blend it in. And again, this is just building on different layers of color. This because I want to keep some of this. I also want to kind of. A little bit of that texture around just a little bit different indication of leaves. Top of that, Yeah. Well, let's maybe drop another one of these in here real quick. Thousand that. And let's So now, back up here, and I want to get to our actual idea for this painting. So I'm going to go right about here, something kind of like that. Just looking at the profile of the selection tool here. I think that might work. Grab. the blue side really desaturate and give me a little bit better and over here Smear those together a little bit. And 
let's see. Custom brush. My brush. Pasto brush. Switch to my quote unquote old brush. Just kind of soften that edge a little bit. This is just going to give that. A little bit of build up here. Get the eraser and just kind of sculpt this back a little bit. It's kind of getting away from me. I'm just playing around with my brushes here to see which one I kind of like better for the feel that I'm wanting. Which brush? Tighten in some shapes to get that kind of a look that I want.
So I'm just building up these colors is all I'm doing. I'm just kind of tapping them in and smearing them around a little bit to get kind of the colors that I want. And don't be afraid to let these kind of creep up into other areas a little bit and just kind of help blend it all together and pull it together a little bit. Just kind of keep softening it around. And you can use whatever brush you want. I just like using these. Alright, so let's see. Let's look at our hard out smudge. I'm going to load that bad boy. Bring the size down. I want just a little bit more play of texture here, especially as I start adding in lights. I may come back and soften these down more. But I just want to kind of throw them on there a little bit, get that color and texture on there. Kind of like so. Cross. The rich blue for this. Right here, almost like straight out of the tube. something like that. Selection tool, let's go with the oval. Helps to change your brush. And if you don't know that, you can hold shift and control and skip 10 segment increments way in on here Just put a little bit of a spot right there do shift control i select the inverse and i grab a little bit of this come around here and kind of define this ever so slightly D. Right. Now this little feller doesn't have his beak in here, so let's give him a beak. I'm gonna switch to the oil brush. I mean to the ink brush. Just so I can kind of lay it in.
<clears throat> so now what I want to do is just kind of refine this right here. Like so. For a bit of a shadow. And push it back a little bit. Just kind of refining, refining this. Now this is the area that when you get to this, you got to be really careful. You don't start puttering around too much. Just want to kind of refine it and move on. That to me looks weird right there, so I'm going to... Bring that in, give them a little bit of a chin tuck. There we go. That looks better. Just going to kind of break this up a little bit, like so. And I'm going to come in here and put just a little bit of a high line, like so. Yeah, and I think that's going to work. So what I'm going to do now <coughs> is make another layer with my oil brush. I'm going to grab some of these colors down through here. And we just want to seat the little guy. that and maybe throw a few of these around here a little more just to kind of make it seem a little bit more in there this layer and I'm going to duplicate the layer and the blend mode to multiply. Bring that down about half. And with dry clumps, just going to grab some of these colors. Just add a few things of interest here and there. Like so. Up here on the very top. Just 
just maybe add in find the right shade that I want. Seat that even a little more. All right, guys. So, you know, kind of a nice little bird painting. Something a little different. I hope you liked it. If you have questions about it, uh, let me know. Um, if you want to see a few more Art Rage videos, let me know. I've been kind of wanting to dive back into it a little bit. I'm, I'm not using the Batai. Um, I had it. It was kind of messing with my system. Uh, so I'm probably just going to stick with six, and then you can adjust if you've got the Batai from there. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I appreciate you, and I will see you on the next one.